Consider the following. We want to find the optimum location for a business based on weighted demand. Here I'm going to display a grid. I always like to think of the analogy where this is a very planned city with city blocks. And so each of the crosshairs on this table or grid we see as intersections. Presume then that we go out and we can find by maybe market research or some data source within our business that we've got a certain amount of demand at certain locations. And I always like to explain this as imagine that each one of these locations is a tall building. And on that tall building, you've got a number of different client tenants taking up a number of different floors. On certain buildings, we've got potentially more tenants based on the business that these different tenants are following. So for example, take the business at this coordinate here, X2 and Y3. We can see that there's a weighted demand there of seven. There's quite a lot of different businesses in this building that could potentially use our services. The other weighted demand that's spread out across this grid, they're just in buildings with less potential demand. The object of this exercise is to find the center point to place my business at a particular location that it is in the middle of the demand. That is that we're taking into account two different factors. A is the distance and B is the actual wish or the amount of demand at the different locations. To do this, we're going to try and find the median of the demand. But we've got a 2D structure here and it's difficult to visualize where the median is when it's spread out in every direction. So to help with this, let's imagine that we're only dealing with a one dimensional aspect of it to start with. So let's just look at the X axis and presume going from left to right here on my diagram, or if we could use the coordinates of a compass, going from west to east, I want to cut that demand in the middle so that I have an equal amount of demand to my left and to my right. And another way to look at this is we're going to collapse all of those different weightings down onto a single line going across the screen, like so. So 7 will go up there, the 3 and 2 will combine, and they will make 5. And so now they're all in a straight line going from west to east, and I need to find where the median is in that line of different weights. Going back to my original weightings, I have to find out what the total amount is of all of the weightings and then divide by two to find this median that I want to search for. Adding up all of the weightings, I'll find the following figures. That gives me a figure of 20. And so the median is 20 divided by two, which gives me 10. So starting from the left-hand side, from the west side, let's move through all of these different weightings, keeping in mind that I'm only looking at the x-axis, that line across the screen. I'm going to keep moving my line until I hit the figure 10. So starting on the left, move over to the first area. At a longitude of 1, we can see that we're hitting 3 there. I'm going to keep moving over to a longitude of 2. That's 7, so 3 plus 7 is 10. And at that stage, I've reached my median. So I'm going to mark that spot and take note of it. Now I'll do the next pass, going from east to west. And again, I'm going to keep going from east to west until I reach my median. So moving over to longitude 7, I've got 5. Longitude 6, there's nothing there. Longitude 5, I've got another 2 plus 3, which is... 5 and the original 5 on longitude 7 gives me 10, so I've reached my median there. So I'm going to mark that spot and take note of it again. So that's my west-east and my east-west pass. Now I want to do the same on the other dimension, so along the y-axis. Same process here, we want to move downwards from north to south through the grid, taking account of all of the different weightings as we go until we hit our median. Moving through latitude 8, latitude 7, there's nothing there. We get to latitude 6, there's 3. Add that to the aggregate. Move down to latitude 5, we get 3 and 5. So at that stage, we've got 3 from latitude 6, plus 3, plus 5. We're now at 11, so we've hit our median. And I'm going to mark that and take note of it. And lastly, we're going to go from the south to the north, so the last pass, starting at the very bottom. I'm going to keep on going until I reach my median. So I see 2 and 7, that gives me 9. Still not at my median, so I'm going to go up. And eventually, when I get to latitude 5, I'm going to find that I hit my median there. I'm going to mark that and take note.
And at this stage, we have our answer. Wherever the different marks cross, that's the area that is the optimum location or the center of my weightings. In this case, it's at this location here. Depending on how your figures work out, sometimes we get an exact spot where X marks the spot, or as in this case, we can get our markers to be slightly spread apart. But that is the way we find the optimum location of a facility using the simple median method, using four passes.